Good Wednesday morning. It's April 21st, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last, which you can find at guymcpherson.com. Today I'm going to talk about, hmm, I'm going to respond to a question I received from A.C. Berg. I don't know if this is his or her real name. Professor, could you please address the problem of rising atmospheric concentrations of CO2 in the dilution of nutrients in plants? Some hypothesize that this is adversely affecting insects and other species. Thank you. So that's a fine question, which I was answering in my classrooms, dating from the late 1980s and beyond. And I pointed to a common denier statement or tactic, which is to point out that greenhouses have an increased amount of CO2 on purpose. The greenhouses have pumped into them CO2, which increases plant productivity, obviously, or they wouldn't be putting that CO2 in there. If they were only increasing CO2, that's one thing. But that's not what we're doing on the planet, is it? We're increasing CO2, which acts as a greenhouse gas and therefore increases global average temperature. In addition, and this is what the question was referring to, I believe, Increasing CO2 decreases the nutritional value of plants and therefore increases the insects eating those plants. So the insects have to eat more to get the same level of nutrients they were eating before CO2 came along and started disrupting the morphology and phenology and everything else about plant life, basically. And I use it as an example at GuyMcPherson.com in this morning's post, a paper from Ecologia by Lincoln and colleagues, response of an insect herbivore to host plants grown in carbon dioxide enriched atmospheres. And the effect of carbon dioxide treatment, at least the principal effect on herbivores, herbivores are things that eat plants, such as the insects we earlier mentioned. The principal effect of herbivores on increase in carbon supply of leaves appeared to be reduction of leaf nutrient concentration. This study suggests that feeding by herbivores on the leaves of C3 plants may increase as the level of atmospheric carbon dioxide rises. And that's been verified in other studies since the mid-1980s. There is a persistent myth going around that the de deniers like to grab a hold of, and it is presented in Yale Climate Connections on September 27th, 2020. It's called The Video Origin of the Myth that Global Warming is Good for Agriculture, and it goes right to this very question. We need to pump more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere because that's what we do in greenhouses to increase plant productivity. And this, of course, has been demonstrated to be incorrect for a very long time with paper after paper after paper, but it's very difficult to overcome these ideas once they've been embedded into the minds of those in society. So, there you have it. The evidence runs contrary to what people want to believe, and so, therefore, contrary to what they do believe, Evidence notwithstanding, people are going to come up with all kinds of reasons for saying that climate change is good, that CO2 in the atmosphere is awesome, look, we do it to increase productivity of plants and greenhouses, therefore we should do it all over the world. There's lots of nonsense out there. Thanks to A.C. Berg for bringing this one to light and allowing me the opportunity to talk about it. Thanks to you also for paying attention, and I look forward to doing another one of these in about a week or so.